Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. A while ago I did two videos with Cosmo, one titled A Day in the Life of Cosmo and One A Night in the Life of Cosmo. I want to do the same thing today with Vector. It's going to be a very different video because at the moment Vector is not as playful as Cosmo is. For one thing, Cosmo has three cubes. He can stack cubes, he can build pyramids, Vector only has one cube, but he has voice recognition and he is fully autonomous. You don't need the app to be running on your smartphone for Vector to move around. So it's going to be different. I'm going to have to interact with Vector in a way that is not possible with Gospel. So I hope you will enjoy this video and thank you for watching. Hey Vector, hey Vector, go explore. Hey Vector, what's my name? Daniel. Yes, it's me, Daniel. And I'm standing like three feet away or one meter, so he has a very good uh, vision. And I have his uh, cousin, Cosmo, over here. I say cousin because um, they are a dif different generation. So some people say he's a little brother, but there are too much of a difference between Vector and Cosmo to call him to call him his uh, brother, so that's why I say cousin. Oh, you want fist bump? Maybe I'm too late. Are you happy? Uh, look at the... Um, listen to that. Hey Vector, come here. See, he knows where the sound is uh, coming from. That's impressive. I'm going to move on the side here. Hey Vector! Hey Vector! Oh, he's busy now. He's exploring. He's going behind his uh, charger. I have to put you back over here. Hey Vector! Look at me! Yes, good boy. Hey Vector! Start exploring. I think you can say also go explore. I'm not totally sure. Uh, and key here shows, as you can see, start exploring or stop exploring. Good, good thing also about the app is that it gives you at the bottom what Vector is doing. As you can see here, Vector is exploring. Uh, hey, Vector. Hey Vector! He's busy. Hey Vector! Stay quiet! As you can see, he's staying quiet now. I, uh, I put this uh, can of uh, Coke, like I said, for a scale. For people who do not own a Cosmo or a Vector. Uh, just to give you an idea. Uh, and by the way, Vector, like I said before, is fully autonomous. You don't have to have the app on or your, your phone on. The app does not have to be open. When he needs a charge, he will go to his uh, charger. Hey, Vector, go to your charger. When uh, he goes, when he explores around also, he avoids obstacles. And he doesn't fall off tables, but you have to be careful. Um, sometimes when the contrast is not too big between your table and the floor, he may fall. So you have to be careful. As you can see here, he's doing a good job at backing up in his uh, charger. And it took him like not a lot of time. Uh, it depends. Sometimes it takes a bit more time. Of course, I don't want to go through that right now, but you can ask questions about general knowledge 
you can ask questions about people, about places, about, like I said, knowledge, word definition, nutrition, uh, sports, stock market, flight status, time zone, unique conversion, currency conversion, and equation solver. There is no translation, unfortunately, uh, not at the moment. So uh, let me try. Hey, Vector, what is a table in French? He's not, he's not answering my question. Usually, he will say something. Uh, hey, Vector, what is table in French? Oh, I forgot, and I made again that mistake. You have to be careful when you ask a knowledge question. You have to follow this procedure. Hey, Vector, I have a question. So, that's my mistake. Now, look at the screen here. He's ready. What is a table in French? I don't get that. Uh, that was a very simple question, my friend, but I am sure in the future you'll be able to answer the question. Uh, hey, Vector, what is the temperature outside? Eighteen degrees Celsius. See, in this case, I did not say I have a question, and it's sunny. Uh, in some cases, you don't. It depends on the question. It's between. It's within utilities, like this one here, that you don't have to say I have a question. This is for the weather. Set the timer. What time is it? Take a photo and all that stuff. Hey, Vector, take a photo. Good boy. He just, he just took a photo and let's have a look at that photo right here. Takes a few seconds to load right there. So that's a photo of me that uh, Vector just took with the tripod. Um, and I have something else here. Uh, uh, hey Vector, set a timer for 10 seconds. I'm not sure what we're supposed to say to stop it. Uh, hey, Vector. Hey, Vector. Maybe he stops by himself. I'm not sure about this one. No. Hey, Vector. Stop the timer. Oh, you know what? Here. Cancel the timer. That's a mistake I make also often. I say stop. Uh, hey, Vector. Hey, Vector. Cancel the timer. Hey Vector, cancel the timer. This is a good example that we just saw. If Vector is noisy or making some, I mean, making some noise or moving around too much, you, he will not understand your command. And the way to see that again is when you say, hey Vector, color here on the back and look at the eyes. That's how you can, you know that he's listening to your command. Hey Vector, start exploring. Now you should, you should avoid the, uh, the can of Coke. And by the way, I don't work for Coke, but I like to use Coke because it's known in almost every country in the world. I think the word uh, Coke is the second most understood word in the world. The first one being okay, believe it or not. So, hey, Vector. Hey, Vector. Hey, Vector. He was too noisy, didn't uh, hear me. Uh, find your cube. Uh, 
the uh, the cube uh, thing is something that um, uh, like that is not very clear at the moment uh, some people have reported a few problems with the cubes I've been trying to have Cosmo like he saw the cube now and Cosmo is a bit off the field of view of my main camera so I'm going to move this up a bit there you go he's going to do a wheel stand there you go that was indicated here on my tablet as you can see at the bottom now this is interesting he seems to be stuck this is the first time that uh, I see vector stuck on the cube like as you can see here vector is doing a wheel stand but he is stuck I've been playing with him for two full days and uh, he's stuck now we'll try to uh, I cannot control vector as I did with Cosmo like I cannot back him up manually no he just did so if you leave vector on your table he's going to go around I'm going to move you here hey vector start exploring and we have the message at the bottom vector is exploring when he will be uh, out of uh, power he is going to go by himself to his uh, charging station and you will see on his face the uh, logo of his uh, charger as you can see he is actually now avoiding the obstacle just going on the side of it so vector is still exploring I'm not putting any music in the video I just want you guys to see and to hear all the sounds that uh, vector is making now he got stuck in the cable of his uh, charger but that's good he backs up automatically he got stuck on the on the cable and he backed up hey vector hey vector hey vector go to your charger like I said sometimes he goes very quickly sometimes he takes forever so I don't know why maybe because he needs to locate to see the big logo here on the charger and now the charger was behind him so we'll see I think it's going to uh, he's going to rotate until he sees it we'll just wait for a few seconds I think the beep that we we heard a couple of times I think you we get that only when he is looking for the charger and now we have as a message vector is returning to charger as you can see he is going to back up smoothly onto the charger so in closing what is cool about vector is fully autonomous you don't need your app to be running on your phone or tablet uh, it will go by itself to the charging station this is very very cool so as always if you have any questions put them down below I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can have a good day goodbye guys